Liberals getting nervous about Omar Khadr's big payday. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. Forget the poll showing that 71% of Canadians disagree with Justin Trudeau making Omar Khadr a multimillionaire. Forget that even 61% of Liberal voters oppose the idea. Justin Trudeau and the Liberals are now getting nervous that Americans might not like this deal. In fact, they're even chastising Canadians, like myself or Conservative MPs, who are daring to talk about the deal with the Americans. They're even linking this to NAFTA talks and potential job losses for Canadians. Uh, well, here's a crazy idea. If you're worried about that, don't leak details about a jihadi that killed an American soldier on the eve of the 4th of July holiday that he's getting a big payday. I mean, maybe Trudeau and his brain trust, Jerry Butts, thought this would be a great way to make sure the story didn't get much traction. Canadians were coming off the Canada Day 150 long weekend. The Americans were celebrating Independence Day. And Trudeau was on an airplane heading off on his European trip and then on to the G20. So just leak it out then. No one's going to notice, right? Except they are noticing. I've been on talk radio across the United States. I continue to get calls. I was on Fox News the other night. Fox really got into the story after Peter Kent penned his op-ed in the Wall Street Journal. They've covered it for days now, and that's not making Jerry Butts very happy. Butts started complaining about Peter Kent's piece in the journal with this tweet. A long CPC tradition of airing Canadian disputes in the Wall Street Journal. It's where Stephen Harper advocated for joining the Iraq War. Butts tweeted a lot about the Conservatives being critical of the deal. Accused the Conservatives of being hyper-partisan on Canada-U.S. relations. This is a new one. Then he went on and accused the Conservatives of launching, launching an anti-Trudeau campaign in the U.S. But here's the really interesting tweet from Jerry. When Michelle Rempel's appearance on Fox News is mentioned, he asks, did NAFTA come up? Interesting, because the Trump administration, of course, has just released their goals for the NAFTA negotiations. That's something they're required to do by law. The talks are set to start in August. A lot is riding on this for Trudeau and company. They need these negotiations to go well. Well, one of the things I've been complimentary to Justin Trudeau on is actually how he's avoided his own desire and the push from his base to attack Donald Trump. He's avoided all of that because he knows he needs to be on Trump's good side when it comes to the NAFTA talks. But all this talk of Cotter might prove problematic. It might actually annoy the Americans. The settlement has annoyed every American I've spoken to, every talk show host I've spoken to. Which is why it isn't just Butts tweeting about NAFTA in relation to the Cotter deal. It's also Environment Minister Catherine McKenna, who said, U.S. announces NAFTA goals and CPC MPs in U.S. talking Cotter with alt facts. Irresponsible. Millions of Canadian jobs at stake. And she later tweeted out, dangerous game CPC is playing. Canada-U.S. relationship should be above domestic politics. We should all be focused uh, on the same team, focused on trade. So the Liberals don't want Cotter's deal being criticized, especially in the U.S. By the way, it's a, not just a domestic matter, it involves Americans. I can tell you, when I speak to Americans, one of the things that they're happy about, they're not happy about the deal, but they are happy to hear that not everyone is on board with it. They hate this deal, and when I tell them that most Canadians don't support it either, they like that. And if the Liberals are now worried that this deal with Cotter could cost jobs, well, Maybe they should have thought of that ahead of time. If they're worried this could hurt the economy, maybe they should have thought of that before backing the Brinks truck up to Omar Khadr's front door. So far, the official reaction from the Trump administration is muted. But that doesn't mean the reaction from the American people is going to be muted. On talk radio, on cable news, this is getting noticed, and tweets like this one will not help. Country legend Charlie Daniels, with a sizable social media following, said... Justin Trudeau, you've insulted the best friend your nation will ever have. Amen to that, Charlie. The Liberals are in damage control here. They see that this is going to hurt them, and not just with voters in Canada, but also quite likely with our ally, our friend, our neighbor, the one that we're about to negotiate that trade deal with. If you like the Rebel video you just watched, never miss another one again. Click here to subscribe, and hey, have you donated yet at spearkids.com?